Well, hi, and welcome back to another episode from the Narrowboat Video Channel. My name is Andy Tidy, and the purpose of this channel is to share some of the best of the Inland Waterways archive videos which exist out there on the internet. Considering that our inland waterways were almost exclusively horsepowered for the first 150 years of their operation, and that diesel boats only entered service in the final few decades, it's both surprising and frustrating that so little archive horseboating video exists. I'd like to use this episode to highlight some of the most insightful videos on the subject of horseboating, but Given the dearth of old films, some of my selection are rather more contemporary than usual, but they cover subject matter which is as old as the canals themselves. Perhaps the best place to start this journey into horse boating is a demonstration video made by Sue Day in 2004. The video is called Horse Drawn Narrow Boating Demonstration at Lion Salt Works and it focuses on the preparation she puts into getting Bonnie ready for a day on the towpath. Now we've got a problem, if Bonnie puts her head down, that's going to go straight down her neck and hit her head here, grip on that. The pony's going to come along with loads of straps, all sorts of stuff, and just every strap here has got a purpose. And that's going to get rid of that problem I told you about, that if Bonnie puts her head down, we don't want that collar sliding down her neck and hitting her ears. So as he does this up quite tight, that will, her, her tail will make sure that if she puts her head down, it can't now hit her. So that's for her own comfort and safety. So that's how you do it. Well, how did that look in an industrial context? Well, for this, we move on to another quite modern video filmed at the Parkhead Boating Festival on the BCN in 2012. In this video, a horse moves a genuine day boat up and down the parkhead locks, much to the delight of the assembled audience. I remember this demonstration very clearly because in it I learned firsthand the dangers of filming in the vicinity of tight tow ropes. Luckily a marshal was there to keep me safe, but I came to appreciate the dangers of sharing the towpaths with working horses. The canal infrastructure was built around the needs of horses and some aspects of their design only make sense in the context of horsepower. And the next video introduces some locking techniques peculiar to unpowered horse boats, including the dark art of strapping. I bring you Towpath Encounter. As the boat enters the lock, the steerer prepares to strap the lock stopping the boat and closing the top gate at the same time by putting a loop of rope over the special bollard built on as part of the lock gate for that purpose, the strapping post. The horse stops, the driver winds up the full gate paddle, creating a current through the lock to keep the boat moving and to help close the gate. With skill and confidence, 
the skipper simultaneously pulls the gate to and slows the boat. Well, I can't finish this introduction to horse boating without some archive film which brings this all together. So I'm going to close with Pathé Pictorial looks at a man's best friend, made in 1947. And if we could only find the time to stop and watch him, he could teach us, in his quiet and uncomplaining way, many lessons. Here, he's the coal merchant on four legs, second cousin to the pit pony. His job is to haul the coal and timber barges on the canal from lock to lock. It's a job that takes more than mere brawn, too. No one ever showed him how, but he knows that easy does it here. He can judge to a nicety the exact tension to exert. He works with the precision of a machine, a machine that never breaks down. Well, I hope that these clips gave you a taste to learn more about horse boating. And the links to the full-length videos can be found on the Narrowboat Magazine's website. There's a link to that page in the description field below. Now, I'm sure that there are more archive films about horses at work on our canals. And if you come across some particularly good ones, be sure to leave a comment along with the link. But anyhow, for this episode, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Cheerio. Thank you.